okay today's class is terrestrial magnetism it is a part of the magnetism it is a, a small topic but it has very important concept okay i am going to start terrestrial magnetism please see here earth this is the earth here is magnetic south and that is magnetic north this line is known as magnetic sl line magnetic sl line if we consider a plane a plane this plane is known as magnetic meridian magnetic meridian it is a plane and it is the line it is the line okay this is the center of the earth this is o here o is the center of the earth center of the earth okay this is magnetic east and this is magnetic west okay if we consider here n m o e m this is 90 degree this is again 90 degree this is again 90 degree all this angle 90 degree magnetic magnetic meridian magnetic meridian if we consider here another line this is geographic north and this is geographic south here is g s g this is geographic geographic south okay n g this is geographic north okay this line is the geographic s n line okay if we consider if we consider here a plane please see this is the plane this plane is known as this plane is known as geographic meridian gm what is gm gm is geographic meridian when it is meridian it is a plane it is the plane okay now please see here the angle between the two plane angle between the two plane i am drawing like this this is ng this is hg this is the center this is nm this is sm this angle is lambda what is this amla magnetic magnetic declination declination simple what is this it is the angle 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 between m m and g m what is m m magnetic meridian and it is g m 
geographic meridian this is the angle magnetic declination now question is just i am deleting this part please see here first can you tell me this suppose north and this is south this is east and this is west this is 10 degree this is 10 degree what is this direction this is 10 degree 10 degree north this is 10 degree north of of east suppose this is this is 11 degree how will you write this 11 degree is written like this this direction this is 11 degree east this side the east of of this is north be careful here is one direction that direction is suppose this angle is 45 degree similarly this is also 45 degree this direction can be written as 45 degree north of east or from this side this is 45 degree east of north this direction is written like this 45 degree north of east or this is 45 degree east of north or this is written as north east be careful this 45 degree north stop north of east 45 degree east of north it is not written it is denoted by north east similarly if we write like this this is 45 degree from this side this is 45 this is 45 from this side what is this this is 45 degree south of east and this is what this angle 45 degree east east of south and this 45 degree this 45 degree is written as 45 degree south of east but what is the common term it is south east you can write like this you can write like this or you can write south east similarly i am writing this direction suppose this direction is 15 degree what is this direction 15 degree south of west 15 degree south of west this is suppose 17 degree what is this 17 degree what is the how will you denote this this is sir 17 degree 17 degree this side west of of north this side west of north okay now my question this is in this side if we if we take ng ag it is the fixed line in that case magnetic sl line when in this direction this is lambda degree what is this sir this side sir this is this side lambda degree east of north suppose this is the magnetic sl line this is nm and this is asm in this case sir this is suppose lambda this or theta this is lambda degree what is this this is the east and this is the west in this case lambda degree lambda degree west west lambda degree i am writing like this this angle written written like this lambda degree sir west of west of north lambda degree in this set east of north and this is west of north my question is in this case which is which is right this lambda degree east of north or lambda degree west of north okay i am deleting this part please see here this is 
rth and this is please see here what is the rule in this case this is ng geographic south this is this is geographic north and magnet is magnetic sl line this is magnetic north pole and this is magnetic magnetic south pole this is the lambda this lambda it is the fixed first thing this is fixed with respect to with respect to geographic sl line if it is in this side this is lambda degree north or this is lambda degree east now one thing is important if this angle lambda it is also lambda degree in this case if we take south pole in that case this is lambda degree lambda degree west of north lambda degree west of north please see in this case this is east geographic east and this is geographic west now question is in the definition of magnetic declination with respect to magnetic north pole not with respect to magnetic south pole and another thing is geographic sl line would be fixed therefore declination magnetic declination magnetic declination magnetic declination it is denoted by sir lambda degree lambda degree this side is the east or sir lambda degree west here first thing sir one thing is important geographic sl line geographic sl line that is geographic sl line sl line it uh, this is fixed another thing and with respect to with respect to magnetic north pole not magnetic south pole this is the rule this angle is not taken this angle is taken this is here fixed on with respect to north pole this is known as if we consider what is this this is what is this sir this is geographic meridian and what is this sir this is magnetic meridian therefore simple what is the definition definition magnetic meridian magnetic meridian magnetic not meridian this is magnetic declination please be careful magnetic declination is the angle is the angle between between gm and gm means magnetic geographic meridian this is magnetic meridian to think is important here north pole magnetic north pole makes an angle lambda this is magnetic declination with with sir geographic meridian this is the concept this is the another thing is important another thing is important please see this angle this angle declination this angle declination this is magnetic sl line okay magnetic sl line what is this sir this is this is east magnetic east and this is magnetic west this is magnetic west now i am going to discuss very small question very short question but explanation is very important please see here here is compass needle compass needle please see here compass needle what is compass needle please see here is a here is a stand on the stand there is a this is magnetic needle this is magnetic needle this magnetic needle this magnetic needle please see here it is movable please see 
this is the stand on the magnetic needle this is the on the support the magnetic needle is movable in the horizontal plane when it is movable in the horizontal plane horizontal plane like this either this side or this side it is movable in the horizontal plane magnetic needle movable movable in the horizontal plane horizontal plane it is called compass needle it is called compass needle be careful now here is a stand here is another horizontal rod or the bar or here is a needle which is a magnetic needle which is movable in the vertical plane be careful this is this is here is a table fan table fan is moving blades of the fan is moving in the vertical plane this vertical plane when it moves in the vertical plane it is known as dip needle magnetic needle magnetic needle has two name two name it is sir compass needle this is compass needle this is compass needle another is known as sir dip needle dip needle be careful it is movable in horizontal plane it is movable in sir vertical plane this is vertical plane this is vertical plane consider this this is horizontal plane this is is compared with ceiling fan and vertical plane dip needle it is compared with sir table fan table fan table fan the blades of the table fan is move is movable in the vertical plane in the ceiling fan ceiling fan in case of ceiling fan blades are movable in the horizontal plane when magnetic needle moves in the horizontal plane it is known as compass needle and when it is move it is movable in the this is this is a vertical rod this is the horizontal bar and in this case sir this is moving movable in this like this sir this is the case of table fan compass needle compass needle is movable in the horizontal plane this is in case of ceiling fan and dip needle movable in the vertical plane it is compared with the sir table fan okay compass needle it is used in the sheaf it is used in the sheaf s h i p and diver of the sheaf diver of the of a sheaf of the sheaf is called captain please see here here question is a captain a captain a captain is seeing that seeing that the ship the ship is moving towards the no towards the east towards the east question is what is the actual actual direction of the ship of the ship it is a question it is a question option here one thing is given declination declination given this declination magnetic declination is 20 degree east of north it is given it is given at the place declination magnetic declination is 20 degree east of north question what is the actual direction of the ship sir 20 degree east of north 20 degree 20 degree south of east 20 degree 20 degree east of south and d sir 20 degree west of south this is the question 
please see here here declination magnetic declination is 20 degree north of east what is the meaning we have to consider this this is the earth and which is fixed fixed is magnetic is a line in this case 20 degree east of north means here here is magnetic north and this is magnetic south this angle is 20 degree this angle is 20 degree please see here in this case in this case what is this sir this is geographic geographic east this is geographic east this is geographic west and this side is what this side is geomagnetic east and this is magnetic west now what is the meaning what is the meaning the ship captain is saying that ship is moving towards the east my question is what is this east what is this east which east is this here magnetic east or geographic east please see here captain captain is seeing by which captain is seeing captain is seeing the compass needle or in the compass needle compass needle compass needle is directed towards this compass needle within the compass needle what is this within the compass needle there is magnetic needle magnetic needle gives the magnetic direction therefore according to the compass needle the ship is moving this direction not this direction compass needle shows the magnetic direction therefore if this angle 20 degree this should be 20 degree and this 20 degree is denoted by this direction is denoted by 20 degree south of east 20 degree south of east here what is this this s is geographic and this east is geographic what is the meaning of the actual actual direction means here geographical direction the ship is moving like the ship is moving this direction this is the magnetic east but with respect to geographic direction this 20 degree is written as 20 degree south of east this 20 degree south of this 20 degree south means geographic south and this 20 degree east means geographic east this is the answer 20 degree south of east therefore option number b is the correct answer okay be careful okay now i am going to discuss another thing that is very very important that is magnetic magnetic inclination magnetic inclination or this is magnetic deep angle magnetic deep angle magnetic deep angle what is this Please see, this is this is horizontal line. Here, if we suspend freely, if we suspend freely, a bar magnet. This is point of suspension. This is known as point of suspension. Be careful. Point of suspension. This is point of suspension. Okay. In this case, in this case, this is the North Pole and this is the South Pole. Can you tell me why, sir, this is North Pole and this is the South Pole? India, we are in India. India is in Asia or Asia in Northern Hemisphere. northern hemisphere in northern hemisphere north pole lies below the horizontal line this is horizontal line this is horizontal line below the horizontal line north pole lies below the horizontal line and this angle is denoted by theta this magnetic inclination or magnetic deep angle this is denoted by theta in northern hemisphere in northern hemisphere north pole 
north pole lies below the horizontal line below the horizontal line horizontal line here sir what is this sir this is the resultant magnetic intensity it is denoted by i this is the horizontal component and sir this is the vertical component okay here we we can draw this theta this theta is the angle of decline inclination or magnetic dip angle and it is the angle between i and h in short this is the angle sir between i and h what is i and what is h i will discuss right now this i is the total magnetic earth intensity and it is the horizontal component of i therefore can you tell me what is the component of i in this direction this is i this angle is known this is i cos theta and this is what is this this is i cos theta sir this is i sin theta in case of terrestrial magnetism i is important h is important v is important and theta is important what is theta sir theta is the magnetic inclination or magnetic dip angle simple it is the angle between it is it is it is the angle between i and h it is the angle between i and h one thing is important this theta this is on theta therefore in this case sir this is this s is not here this theta is taken here between this angle made by the north pole with horizontal in case of northern hemisphere okay in case of southern hemisphere south pole lies below the horizontal line i am considering in northern hemisphere north pole lies below the horizontal line please see here what are the here formula first formula sir h equal to i cos theta sir v equal to i sin theta i sin theta now please tell me divide i sin theta divided by i cos theta what is this sir this is v by h from here sir this is tan theta v equal to h tan theta sorry this is h tan theta fourth formula please squaring and adding i cos theta a square plus i sin theta a square this is equal to h square plus v square i square is taken common cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1 therefore i square equal to h square plus v square this four formula four formula are important in case of terrestrial magnetism okay now i'm going to draw a special diagram please see here in this case sir 